well, as it turns out. I don't want to think about it. That's the miraculous part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
some of the key highlights I just want to share with you is that we did get the three community colleges to expand the program, and it uh, can be offered it's as either a 12 unit or an 18 unit certificate that actually goes on your transcript. So when you take it, you get units for it, you get a transcript. They also, two of the community colleges have it as, as an associate's degree program, so you can get an associate's degree program. And there's one additional college who wasn't even part of the grant who's so excited about the curriculum that they're at the chancellor's office right now waiting for their stamp of approval so they can start offering it in the spring. And that's Kenyatta College up here in Northern California, so we'll finally have a school up here as well. And I get calls and emails from colleges all over the United States, even out of the country, that are interested in this. Um, one of the other really, really key things, and I, I don't want to kill the, okay, so I'm looking at Gary going, are we going to announce it somewhere else? Uh, one of the other great things about the grant is that it's funded what's called Development of the National Standard, which is a program to say, okay, like we, how do we get a program that's nationally recognized, that people in the industry can take these classes, and then, you know, if they move to another state or they're looking for a job, that employers or uh, cities that are looking to hire will know that these individuals have taken classes that will help you help them understand the job they're doing better. So with that, we spent three years traveling around the country with having meetings, having conference calls, with probably over 200 um, participating organizations and individuals giving input to this process. And in May of this year, the board directing uh, acting under the Rona board developed the student learning outcomes and that was adopted and so the student learning outcomes are adopted and I think today we find that final thumbs up and approval that the application is done and that will be released. So we'll be accepting our applications for organizations that will actually be able to get accredited under a national umbrella and this will be a nationally recognized program and everybody who goes through it will get what's called a designation of a CSRMP. So that's huge. What, what is CR? It stands for Certified Sustainable Resource Management Professional. And um, it's just, it's huge. When you take the classes, you'll get CEUs as well. So that's a, it's CSRMP, Certified Sustainable Resource Management Professional. Obviously, one of the huge goals, no problem, no. Uh, for us to do is to get all employers to know about this so they can start including this in their job specs, that it's required that people have this if they're going to work in the industry. Um, it's, it's just amazing that this type of program is being able to be developed and looked at nationally with, um, with some, some backbone to it. So expect more information in the fall. Gary, do you have anything? Just, just a anything? clarification. Uh, we have a board motion uh, 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 circulating right now that's been moving in lots of different directions all day. Uh, so we're not officially uh, releasing our application as of today as we had hoped to announce. Uh, but within the week, our next board meeting uh, call is next Wednesday. So if not by before then, certainly by Wednesday, we'll have a done deal and we'll be able to uh, officially announce it at the Resource Recycling Conference the following week. Yeah, close. So it's been very successful. It's been amazing to work on the program, the people that have gone through it. Just, you know, I can't even explain how wonderful it is to work with so many amazing people and um, have, especially when we see them here today, a lot of them and just seeing that they've gotten off and they're a part of us now. So, yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah.
and there's an opportunity, the National Certification Standard is an excellent opportunity that CRA wants to make sure our certification program is successful with this opportunity. So now we need to get the creative thinking out and really work with our executive director and all of those instructors and the manager um, through the process and some creative thinking on how we can continue this program, make it sustainable, but also continue to develop. So potentially it might go into the online realm and to develop it so that it's a product for every one of you, no matter where you're at. Um, so Leslie's going to do a quick recap of the 2013 conference. Actually, you all can probably do the recap. Of the conference, but it's going was, well. Yeah. <laughs> Many items are um, under budget, so um, in terms of a conference, other than sponsorship, it'll be a very successful conference for FCRA. And one of the biggest members great. meetings we've had in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Right. Um, Les is also going to talk, because she's our NRC uh, Rona KAB liaison, so she's going to provide an update with that. Actually, there's one that she left off. I'm, actually, I'm also the uh, liaison to Rock. And the ROC stands for the Recycling Organization Council. And what the ROC is, is um, there's about 30 state associations like ours in the United States. And we decided oh, where it, uh, the ROC exists for all of these state associations to be communicating with each other. And we communicate, I'm the vice chair on the ROC, and uh, we communicate on a quarterly basis and we try to meet face to face twice a year. And what we do um, in our meetings is we share what's a policy and programs. Uh, operational uh, ideas, um, and, and the ROC is essentially the membership of the National Recycling Coalition. So um, we are, uh, so all of you are members of NRC because of um, this agreement we have with the NRC. So this ROC brings the membership base of NRC. So it's a very, it's a great group to work with, and it's more behind the scenes. So the update I have with, um, it actually was already mentioned that uh, Rona and um, NRC are looking at an agreement and hopefully um, they're going to be discussing, they will be discussing this at the Resource Recycling Conference in a couple weeks and the ROC will be meeting there um, face to face and we'll, we'll be seeing what takes place with this um, consolidation of the two organizations. So um, that's one thing and then um, with uh, Keep America Beautiful, uh, CRA just signed uh, a partnership agreement with Re uh, uh, Recycle Ball and, and America Recycles Day. And this is an agreement that we've uh, signed on every year ever since KAB took ownership of those two programs. So we are doing that again this year. So you'll be seeing emails coming from me about um, you know, trying to get the word out to your community or your businesses on America Recycles Day, and uh, as well as the um, colleges with the um, competitive recycling competition for colleges. I'm um, Alec Cooley with KAB. I give, I'm going to give him 30 seconds to talk about KAB's most recent announcement um, as well. Thanks. Thanks, Leslie. Um, just, just wanted to put a quick plug for a new campaign that I talked about in the session I was in yesterday, but we announced it last, uh, last month. And this is a new campaign with the Ad Council I want to be recycled. Um, and it, the idea is to, to do use the free media that you can get on TV and radio through the Ad Council nationwide to try and get this recycling message out across the country. And it's, it's targeting sometimes recyclers and trying to develop that emotional connection to recycling that will uh, translate into behavior across the board. So the, we're hoping that it's going to be a multi-year campaign. Its success and, and getting out and being visible and being seen really comes down to just getting the word out. And so I just want to make a plug for that and encourage folks to come to uh, the website and learn more about the campaign. There are opportunities to help uh, get that shown locally on uh, local radio and can be in your own communities. Um, so if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, just
to a newer uh, platform and, and content management system and, and the, the uh, programming behind the scenes of uh, the databases that we use. Um, as you may have experience, our website has been um, hacked a couple of times over the last year or two. And so since there's some security uh, issues there because it is an outdated system. So we want to take care of that so that's never an issue again. Uh, although, you know, if you did search us and the Viagra commercial or advertisements came up, you know, there was a quick link to them. Um, <laughs> but um, the other thing... It's not, not intended as a member of benefits. <laughs> We've been talking about a lot of stuff. Nothing's off the table. Um, so, uh, we're, we're really excited about that. Um, the responses to the RFP are due September 6th. Um, it's posted on the website currently, and we would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you do have uh, web firms that you work with in, in your uh, daily jobs um, and you're happy with what they've done um, to uh, send them on to take a look at the RFP. Uh, we'd love to have a great pool of candidates to look through. Um, and then. Um, so once that is up and running, then we are excited about other opportunities of getting more involved with putting out uh, e-newsletters and other communication to just uh, be updating everybody and educating everybody on what's going on. So, got it. Uh, policy committee, Lynn. Well, this year, last year, we held two workshops. Almost a lot of you were there, one or the other. Um, and we took all the input and the comments through those workshops, and I know a lot of you were frustrated because we didn't give you an out product um, after those workshops were over because we were trying to push you to take the ideas and the concepts from the workshop and make your own comments to Calvary Cycle. So when it came time to make comments on the waste management sector um, 8032 plan update, we took all those comments from the two workshops and we <coughs> synthesized it down <laughs> to um, some real, some key points. Um, and we submitted that letter to Cal Recycle for for the uh, waste sector update, planning update. Um, and they basically were, we sent you out the letter through the listserv, but they were basically focus on waste prevention and, re and reduction, uh, ban compostable organics from landfill disposal, develop in-state markets for recyclable materials, and incentivize recycling. And so there's a lot more detail that goes under each one of those bullet points, and you can look at the letter. We don't have it posted on the website yet, but I'll do that when I get back, make sure it gets posted. Um, so now is the time for you to start to respond to Cal Recycle because this 8032 planning update is due November um, that, that the ARB is working on and then Cal Recycle has to have a report to the legislature on what their needs are going to be to get to the 75% goal by 2020, and that's due in January. So there's these two things that are dovetailing together, but the ARB one is coming, going to be hitting, the deadline for that is coming sooner than, than the Cal Recycle one. But they basically overlap and dovetail, and so you need to really look at that. Your new motivation for resource recovery is now greenhouse gas emission reduction. It's not just landfill diversion. Uh, so it's pretty exciting, those of you who are looking for another motivator, that's it. Because a lot of times in a lot of jurisdictions, you have one person that's working on your greenhouse gas inventory and your climate action plan, and then your solid waste folks are over here, and it's time you start coming together and talking about this together, and, and you'll have a lot more clout moving things through your cities, your jurisdictions, and when you work together for the same, for those two reasons. So that's where we're at. Great, thanks. Um, I'm gonna have Julie give a 2014 conference. Okay, I have three things to share about the 2014 conference. Let me just make sure I have them all in there. Okay, so uh, three things. One, the 2014 uh, conference will be hosted by the city of San Jose. Um, it will be held uh, at the Fairmont Hotel where we were several years ago. Again, thinking this uh, down, down economy, get nice hotels. Um, and it will be held August 3rd through the 6th. The other great thing.